As a lifelong hunter, I find it troubling that the average age of hunters today is increasing. Fortunately, the National Shooting Sports Foundation has come up with a plan. Our guests are Jim Kirkarudo, who is the Director of Research and Marketing Development, and Hank Forrester, who is the Hunting Heritage Program Manager for the Quality Deer Management Association. What is it that the uh, NSSF has come up with? Well, you're exactly right. Uh, there is an increase in the age of hunters today. And realizing this, we knew that uh, you know we had to do something to, to recruit some new folks into the hunting and the shooting sports. And through the research we conduct, we realize there's a lot of Americans, 24 million Americans out there that have a high interest in purchasing their first gun for the purposes of self-defense, target shooting, and hunting. And they told us what they're looking for is information on how to buy that first gun, and how to get started in hunting and target shooting. And a lot of them, they're also waiting for an invite. So the good news is there's a lot of them out there. Um, and now that we know something about them, NSS, NSSF used that and we built some consumer-facing websites, Let's Go Hunting and Let's Go Shooting.org, which are filled with two things that they're asking for. Information, uh, so they can go and watch videos on, on what to expect when they're buying their first gun, how to get hunt, uh, started hunting, the differences in uh, target shooting disciplines. Um, and there's also a, a button on there you can just push to invite somebody to go hunting and target shooting. Um, and we feel that you know NSSF is moving the needle, doing a, doing a good job finding these things out. But here we are today at the SHOT Show, and we've got 60,000 folks that can really move the needle if we all get together on this. So we built all this material and made the collateral available uh, through this Plus One campaign initiative. So we're excited to see what's gonna happen with it. Um, we've got a lot of partners that are already doing really good work with recruiting, retaining, reactivating folks out there. Uh, we're working with some organizations out there such as Quality Deer Management Association and the industry as well. And seeing what kind of um, really opportunities there are out there. And Hank can tell you a little bit about some of the things that they're doing over at QDMA. Right, Hank. What exactly are you doing to lower that age and get more people in? Sure. So uh, exactly what Jim kind of alluded to, the Quality Deer Management Association, our goals align greatly with their Plus One campaign and mentorship campaigns. Um, you know, we set a goal over the next five years of mentoring a million hunters. And we also want to bring down that age of a hunter. And it might not be as intuitive to some, but to, uh, to bring down that age of hunting, we're actually focusing on adults. The research shows it's a more efficient audience to, to recruit. And uh, just like the Plus One campaign, we're going after that individual mentor. That's where we'll really move the needle, is getting current hunters and current participants to mentor. There's obviously different degrees of mentorship. You know, Some just need a little bit of advice, others need a more hands-on experience, but we're trying to push our members to mentor. And one of the neat ways that we've done that, uh, a few years ago we started a field to fork program, uh, food focused adult first time hunting, hunters. And uh, we posted about that on face Facebook, on social media. And a young lady reached out and asked if there was anything like that in, where she lived. And lo and behold, she was an engineer at Sturm Ruger. And I mentioned this to uh, Jim one day in some work that we were doing. and. Uh, we decided to host a field to fork event for 24 employees of Ruger Sig Sauer. We actually had to create a lottery system. We had to cap it at 24, but through their HR departments, they sent out an email to their staff, and uh, we took 24 new hunters of field, uh, pairing them with QDMA members and, and sending them a field after a training day. And it, it's been a great success. Well, I would assume that hunters would be very interested in helping out if they can. So. Where can a hunter go to learn more and, and get involved? Sure. Well, there's a couple things that hunt hunters can do right now. And you're right. You're exactly right. I mean, there's nothing better than teaching somebody about something that you love. And there are a lot of active hunters out there that do want to pass on that tradition. So one thing you can do is take the initiative and invite somebody. That's exactly what people are waiting for. So we'd love to have those 10 million active hunters out there invite somebody new to the field or to the range this year. And where can they go to get more information? Um, for more information on Field to Fork, they can go to qdma.com slash Field to Fork or any of our mentor programs. Right. And we want to, again, make those resources available to our NSSF members as well as to uh, all the active participants out there. Let's go hunting, let's go shooting.org and our Plus One campaign. We're looking forward to having a great year. If, if anybody has any questions, feel free to give myself or a Hank a call.
Jim, Hank, thank you very much for being with us today. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.